Hey, my friend, and welcome to lesson two. Here we are, ready to manifest anything you desire. When you hear those words, manifest anything you desire, what do you think? What comes up for you? You think, oh yeah, well, not really anything. Not really everything. Or do you think, hell yeah, I can manifest anything I desire. Well, if you're in the latter, that's great. And if you're not, my goal is to get you there. Because you have the ability to manifest anything you want. If you can, if you can conceive it, if you can think it, you can create it. That's how we've evolved so much in our, in our world and in society because people have been able to create what it is that was only a dream. Think about the things that exist now that didn't exist 50 years ago. Manifestation simply means creation. And we are creators, right? You're creating your entire life, yeah? So manifestation, how do we manifest the things we want? We have to line up our thoughts, our feelings, and our intentions. We have to line them up so they're in alignment. So if we're just thinking something, we don't have any feeling behind it, you're not going to manifest it. When you're just thinking something, but you don't have really a lot of attention, just kind of willy-nilly random, it's not going to happen. If you've got a little intention and a little bit of thought around it, but not so much feeling, mm -mm. it's when your feelings and your thoughts and your intentions line up. So it's like the heart and the mind and the body, right? The mind, the body, and the spirit. When the three of those are lined up, oh boy, we are going somewhere. That is when we truly are going to create what it is we want. The reason it's so important to have all three of those lined up, and the one that really gives the boost, the one that really makes a difference, is actually the feeling. If you can't feel it, you can't create it. So that's how we are so pow powerful. That's why we're so powerful as creators. Think about how much time you spend feeling the fear. And we create these fearful experiences. And think about the amount of time you spend feeling the excitement and the joy. And then we create these really cool, exciting experiences. And you may be someone who's created lots of exciting experiences, or you may be someone who's created lots of fear experiences. The great thing is you can actually be the creator of whichever one you want. But you have to be intentional with your creation and lining up that energy, mind, body, and spirit. And we've already talked, if you've watched any of the previous steps, about the fact that you can't create for other people because you cannot feel for anyone else. You have to be able to feel it in order for it to show up in physical manifestation form. This is all very basic law of attraction stuff, my friend. And it is powerful, fantastic, good, good, good stuff when you start to learn how your thoughts and your energy and your intention and your feelings create what it is you want. I have a really great process to help you manifest all that you desire. And it's six simple steps. That's all it is, six simple steps. Uh, and what I'm going to do is we're going to put that in the resources for you so you can go and print it out. And what I want you to do is fill that out. It is really, um, gosh, it's powerful. You know, way back in the day, this is actually how I manifested my husband, who I've been married to for a long time. Uh, and, it, and it was through this process. And I didn't even know I had a process at the time. But I did. And it works. And since then, uh, I have really guided a lot of people in taking the action and following through, lining everything up, right, to get 
to the end result of manifesting whatever it is you want. And some of you may think, you know, I want some really outlandish, crazy stuff. You know what? It doesn't matter. The universe has no judgment over what it is you want. So don't even worry about that. It's more about you just getting into that energy and lining up and then getting open to receive it, right? So we can't really um, uh, manifest something if we're not willing to receive it because then it's going to go away. It's going to disappear. It's going to be right on the end of our fingertips and we're not going to be able to hold it because we've got to be able to receive it. Now, one of my favorite fun ways to manifest, and you've probably done this, and if you haven't, I highly, highly encourage you to do this, is create a vision board. I do a vision board class, usually once a year, right around Christmas time, uh, where you can create, along with me, a vision board. I teach you about manifestation and intention and all those things. And then you put this really cool board together based on your creative ability. Mine isn't always that pretty, but hell, it works. And you put all of the images and the, and the words and the feelings of what it is you want to create on a, on a board. And then you put it in a space that you're going to see it all the time. And you look at it and you affirm it and you, and you acknowledge it and you, and you feel it over and over and over again and then just one by one by one by one those things start to manifest in your life. The very first vision board I did uh, I had written down I just did words because I'm not I'm not like a visually creative kind of person so I just did words and my words were you know like um, like gratitude and possibilities and openness and receiving and oneness all these pretty fluffy words and then after I was done, my spirit just guided me to just write a little message. And I wrote something, I can't remember the exact words, but it was something to the effect of, I desire to create a space where people of like minds, I desire to create a safe space where people of like minds can come together to learn, grow, and expand. And I didn't even know what that meant. I was like, what does that even mean? I knew I always wanted to... Um, have a, a space that people could come together to learn around about um, intuition and angels and guides and deceased energies and all the kind of you know woo woo stuff so to speak but I had never even had words to say I want to have a healing center um, and that's what I really wrote on there without saying healing center and man within less than a year I had that place so these vision boards they work but you got to take the action, my friends. So turn that little light on inside of you. Get that energy pumping, right? Get ready to step in and line up with your desires and take that action.